You know, herbs and spices can elevate your meals from plain to a family favorite. Well, here's a warning, though. A Consumer Reports investigation finds potentially harmful heavy metals in some popular spices. Five on your side's Keely Arthur explains how to make sure the food your family eats is healthy and safe. We're at the State Farmers Market, a great place to shop because you can speak directly with the folks who grow these herbs. Another option, you can grow them yourself. Maybe go with here. So if you clip the top, say, uh, eight or ten inches, the rest will continue to grow. Growing your own herbs is fun, free, and a fail-safe way to keep you and your kids healthy. We're going to make pesto out of this. It's a good thing to use because it, it's one herb that makes so many things taste good. In Consumer Reports tests, roughly a third of the store-bought spices they looked at were found to contain enough potentially dangerous heavy metals to raise health concerns when regularly consumed in typical serving sizes. But why? Plants can suck up lead in the soil and groundwater where they're grown, and these metals can leach into the herbs and spices during processing on factory machinery. Three problematic store processed herbs, basil, thyme, and oregano. The good news, they are also among the simplest to grow. If you have a sunny spot in your yard, porch, or even a windowsill, you can safely grow herbs to use fresh or dry yourself. Herbs grow well in separate pots with drainage. Place a few stones in the bottom of the pot with a hole in it. If you want to assure that your store-bought herbs are free of heavy metals, ask your farmer about their soil. Buy potting soil with a seal from the Organic Materials Review Institute to be sure it's been assessed for heavy metals. You can even test your soil yourself with an at-home kit. Keely Arthur, five on your side. Now you can easily dry your own herbs. Just simply wash and dry them thoroughly. Place them in a paper bag for several weeks, then store them in airtight containers where they can last a few years. You can speed up this process by using a toaster oven or air fryer.